Hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is going to be a general reading for the collective, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, the Devil and the King of Cups. Energies for your person, the Emperor and the Queen of Cups. Between you and your person, we have the Four of Cups. Meeting energies, Five of Cups, the Justice and the Chariot. The Oracle cards, Not Today, Addiction, Coffin, the Sword and Rose and Girl with a Snake. Guys, this can be a problematic situation for some of you, unfortunately. I want to say that your person can still say that they have love for you, when in reality, you can keep your feelings and emotions more and more under control if we follow the King of Cups, because it seems that you have come to the realization that the connection is not a healthy one, the devil. This is a cycle. The devil for me is a cycle. One about excesses. Behaviors or ways of doing things that can go from 0 to 100 in the snap of the fingers and that's why we can face problems. The cycle keeps going until at least one of the two people involved gets the pattern right and breaks free so that we are not stuck anymore. Communication may not be a plus in this connection, guys. The not today oracle card can be about someone that avoids conversations, even important ones, and also someone that may prefer to avoid problems, you know, avoid to face problems, but the problems can still remain there, you know, inside uh, the connection. The emperor can be a my way or the highway type of mentality. There can be a lot of stubbornness involved in this situation. The four of cups can make the point. This person can try to say to you that the two of you should stay together, but if we follow the girl with a snake oracle card, you can realize that the connection is a lost cause, almost, five of cups. The justice, the justice can be a right and fair decision, but if you are married and the marriage has become a toxic situation, the justice can also represent the opportunity to get divorced. The chariot, guys, is an energy about future success. In this situation, I would say a desire to move on from a connection that is already over. Coffee or a quick card. On an energy level, this connection doesn't exist anymore because some of you may not like the situation. Your person can be a possessive partner. This is the point if we follow these energies. This is not a relationship, guys. This is a dictatorship. And your person thinks that they are in charge of everything. Let's find out more. What should you focus on in a situation like this one? Here we go. Seven of Pentacles, time factor. The situation can almost be stagnant now. It has been in this way for a while now. Queen of Wands. It can be an energy about passion, desire, attraction. I would say that this is an encouragement in your favor to remember your worth, to remember that you deserve to be respected by the person that is by your side in a romantic connection. And if this does not happen, you cannot pretend that this is not a big deal. It is a big deal. It means that there is a problem in the connection. Chariot again. King of Cups. So, guys, some of you can wait to make a decision about a struggling connection, but the sooner you make the decision, the better for you. Five of Cups again. A lot of recurrent energies. And the Devil again, guys. 
This can be a warning for some of you. This can be a toxic cycle. Then we can agree that the devil can be an energy about even a powerful soul to soul connection, but you are on the losing side of the agreement. What's the obstacle? Well, this person can try to complicate things for you if they get the perception that you want out because you want to leave them. You may need support from people that you can trust at the 100%. Here we go. In the obstacle, we have the Five of Pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold. You are in a romantic connection, but it's almost as if you are dealing with a stranger. They can breadcrumb you guys. They are not able to respect you. They do not take into consideration what you may have to say. This one seems to be a pattern that has unfolded in this way for quite some time, even years for some of you guys. Six of Cups, there can be little ones involved for some of you. If that's the case, you will have to be smart because this person in a twisted way can even use a kid or a daughter as a tool, as a weapon to keep a problematic connection alive. Eight of Cups in the obstacle. So it's like some of you may want to go away, but for some reason, on a practical level, this is not possible just yet. Guys, it seems that we are going there. In any case, King of Pentacles, it can be a matter of finances for some of you. You have to come up with a plan. You may have to ask for help. Uh, you may have to save up some money that can be super helpful in the transition. There can be obligations that can still keep you stuck in this connection, but the situation, guys, seems to be a dead end. Let's ask for guidance about this situation. Let's see what we can get. If we follow the girl with a snake oracle card, and the chains that we see in the Devil Major Arcana, the connection feels like a prison. And some of you may desire to break free, but it can almost be like the ultimate challenge, you know, the ultimate task to face and this person can be quite a character that can try to complicate everything. Page of Cups. It can be an apology. This person can use an apology in order to please you guys so that they can convince you to stay. Maybe you have already heard multiple apologies along the connection but the situation never really changed. This can tell quite a lot. Look, Seven of Swords, guys. Major problem, major problem. Not only lies, betrayals and deceits, uh, this is about negative intentions. Girl with a snake, 100%. Addiction, Oracle card. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, not good at all. Some of you may even have the desire to tiptoe away from a situation like this one, but this may not be possible. This person sees everything. They know everything.
it can be difficult to say that this person has love for you guys. This is a twisted situation. This is a puppeteer. This person is pulling all the strings of this connection. The magician, together with the Seven of Swords, uh, is not exactly a positive combination of energies. Uh, the double devil um, doesn't help, allow me to say. A manipulator, this person. And the A Priestess. Which can be about you because you have to be smart. And then, guys, I want to say also that this person... This person can be mean not only with their actions, but also with their silence. Guys, I have to say that these energies are describing uh, what seems to be an abusive connection, to be honest with you. And if we follow the Sword and Rose Oracle card, There can be a revelation, meaning that some of you all of a sudden can open your eyes, there can be clarity available. You may have to protect yourself and your kids, if they are part of the picture for you. There is no solidarity coming from this person in favor of you guys. They want what they want. And that's it for them. So they want you because they say so. If the connection is a nightmare for you, they do not care. Endings bring new beginnings from the Coffin Oracle card. The sooner you figure out a way to put some distance between you and this person, the better for you. This is a negative situation, guys. There is no justice. There is no fairness. There is no fulfillment. It can become a missed opportunity if we want to follow the Five of Cups meaning some of you may want to go away, double chariot, as far as possible from this person, away from them. You can have the chance to do so. You may need help and support coming from people that you can trust. So you have to talk about the situation with someone that you trust completely. You have to tell them what's going on. Otherwise, this person can maintain the hold that they have on you at the moment. But this connection is not a positive situation, guys. And if we follow these energies, it should end. My friends, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.